r slash ask reddit by planet reddit. What's the most I'm turning into my parents moment for you? I've always had a little sass in me and most of my life. My shyness covered that up. Now I am a one woman sassica. Thanks. Mom. My brothers have been telling me for years that I am essentially our mom. To the point of calling me little mother, in an endearing way. Not a Norman Bates way. I own it. My dad will fall asleep just about anywhere. Especially if he sits in recliner. So after I got my first full time job out of college. I got home and me and my roommate were gonna watch a new episode of some show. I fell asleep in our recliner in less than 10 minutes. I woke up after the show ended and my roommate was like yeah you were out and snored a little. When I went from oh hey this restaurant has live music. Cool. To damn it. Look at them setting up a drum kit. It's going to be too loud. I can't hear. Why do they do this? Even when I was younger I couldn't stand this. Hey guys. Know what's a great time? All of us going deaf. Feedback squeal. Sometimes I will say certain words and I'll turn around because I thought my mom said something. It's really scary how me and her share 98% of seemingly random idiosyncrasies. We both talk to ourselves. Full on 45 conversations with ourselves. We both do this counting this when some of the numbers turn breathy as we count. We both shake our heads and point our fingers the exact same way when we're yelling. Sometimes I'll stop mid fight because I can see my mom making the exact same motions and it freaks me out. My 10 year old nephew let me win a video game cause he felt bad for me. Like I did to my dad 25 years ago on Super Nintendo. My so and I were packing and getting ready to road trip to some family's house for Thanksgiving. As I was cleaning up the house my so said something along the lines of. Don't worry about it. You can clean when we get home. I replied with. I do not want to come home to a dirty house. At that point I realized I'm turning into my mother. This one. Go to clean before a trip. It's nice to come back to a clean house, my wife. Never looked back since. My mom used to find things for us in a minute after we had been looking for hours. My siblings and dad sometimes lose things and ask me to help because I always find it magically. I'm actually very excited about the mom touch to finding things. I started dating a mother of four. She has a mom touch on so many levels. And I've for sure abused it. The other day I was on the phone with her and said I couldn't find my iPad. She told me to check under a box I just brought in from my car. She hadn't been over for a couple days. Though I was on the phone when I got the box. But. No clue how it works. My dad has a way worked himself to death. Now he's retired. When he comes over now as soon as he sits down on a couch he falls asleep within minutes. I'm noticing couches are starting to have the same effect on me. Same for my dad. He says it's from his military days when he had to sleep when he could get it. He will go days without sleep sometimes since he also worked night shifts. So he gets home at like 6am. Messes with the boat then heads out fishing until he has to go back to work. When he comes to my house he'll hit the couch and get 5 minutes into a movie before he's out. Sometimes he'll call me and be like I'm really liking this John Wick movie. I started it last week I'm about halfway through. I don't think he sat fully through a movie in my life. I started it last week I'm about halfway through. Same. Except I just have a short attention span. As I stared into the mass of various saved rubber bands and twist ties. I have to dump the 4786 plastic bags my brother will save and keep 5-10 of them. The bag bag struggle is real. When I sit down and make a dad noise raga. Don't forget the corresponding noise to get up. HMMPH or HAP. I'm 21 and do both of all of these. I have bad knees. When I would get irrationally pissed off when I would come home at night and see my roommate left a spoon in the sink instead of just washing it real quick. Had a roommate who would always open cabinets and just leave them open. We all despised each other at the end of our lease. All roommates have a dishes fight. Four college girls living together results in a screaming match. I used to be so clean in the kitchen. I started enjoying looking at grocery ads for discounts and have three discount cards. Grocery shopping is like a hobby for me now. 
I'm still in my 20s. Is a hope for me. Doc. Shopping well is an excellent habit skill to learn. That shit will save you so much damn money. I. 2. Love grocery shopping because of the genuine excitement I feel at not only saving money, but buying good, healthy food that I'm stoked to cook and eat. I learned a little late but it's done wonders for my health and confidence. Finding myself excited to go to Lowe's. As a child I hated being dragged to that store. As an adult and new homeowner I totally get the appeal of buying power tools and gardening supplies to work on various home improvement projects. It's a great day when you realize you can get out of there for less than $75. My record is like $0.85. I needed a single odd size nut and bolt. It's just as Donald Glover said. The first time you go into a Lowe's, or Home Depot in his example, and say ooh. Knobs. Your childhood is dead. Edit. Oh hey. Reddit gold. I have done nothing to earn this. I repeat stories. Every time I go home to visit, I'll hear things from my dad that he's either told me by phone already or stories I've heard 100 times. I found that I have also started telling people about stories from my past that I've already told them. Convenient that I don't make up BS. Or I'd have to remember all my BS. I remember you telling us about this. Proceeds to tell the story again anyway. My dad was a fairly tall guy. I used to hate walking with him when I was about 4 stroke 5 because he'd take giant steps and I had to basically jog everywhere while he dragged my hand. My son is now 4 and I caught myself doing that exact thing about 2 months ago. Now I walk slower. Walk a little slower daddy. Walk a little slower. Daddy. Said a little child so small. I'm following in your footsteps and I don't want to fall. Sometimes your steps are very fast. Sometimes they're hard to see. So walk a little slower daddy. For you are leading me. Someday when I'm all grown up. You're what I want to be. Then I will have a little child who'll want to follow me. And I would want to lead just right. And know that I was true. So. Walk a little slower. Daddy. For I must follow you. Author unknown. Edit. Silver and gold. AWW thanks. Guys. As you know. I didn't write this poem. The comment above mine just reminded me of it. Thanks for the love. Be excellent to one another. I'm moved by this and I don't even have kids. I've always joked that my dad isn't really my father and I'm just a clone of my mom. I look like her. Laugh like her. Same mannerisms etc. Then I got the exact same health issues that she has. At the exact same age they began for her. This is a fear of mine since I look and talk and laugh like my mom. But she had a terminal illness and passed away, I can only hope not to repeat that. The good part is I say things sometimes and they remind me of her so much and that makes me happy. I have a hair that grows out of my chin. My mom has one in the same place. Easy. Walking around turning off light switches complaining about waste of electricity. Except now with 6 watt LED bulbs compared to the 100 watters from back in the day. It costs 1.7 cents as opposed to 29 cents to be left on for 24 hours at a 12 cent electricity cost. You want to save on electric? Go to reduce that vac motor from running at 500 watts via better insulation windows. Etc. Edit. Corrected wrong math on a 100 watt bulb. $0.29 not $2.88. The moment I saw a high school picture of me. Turns out it was my dad's high school picture. I'm identical to my father and it's annoying as can be. Same. I look just like my old man. Baby pics. Childhood pics. All the way up to a picture my mom showed me of my 7th birthday party when he was my age now. But good news is. You know what you'll look like when you're older. And can plan accordingly. Or cry. I went mushroom picking with my friend a couple of months ago. We ended up meeting my dad and granddad also mushroom picking. I'm Polish for clarification and mushroom picking is like a national sport here. Edit. For you guys wondering I mostly pick Kirky. Chanterelles. If your dad and granddad are still at it you all must know the proper mushrooms to pick. 
It's a family tradition along with cattle farming I started at 5 years old and my great grandfather did it until his final days. Edit. Spelt cattle cattle. So I'm at IHOP one day. Already finished with breakfast. On my second cup of coffee. And the waiter comes with the bill. As I pull out my debit card to pay it. I put my wallet away and think to myself. Just let me sit here and enjoy my coffee. Which is a phrase that my mother has used so many times at breakfast that she could patent it. I'll admit it does feel nice to just relax and enjoy it instead of rushing out the door as soon as you're done. Now it's something I do routinely. Edit. Indeed I realize I can pay the bill and not leave immediately. It's just this one moment I vividly recall not doing so. Also. I probably should have mentioned that the town I live in is pretty small. And IHOP is usually quite dead most of the time. Otherwise I wouldn't take it upon myself to make people wait for a table while I'm just there sipping coffee. Let me finish my coffee. Mum proceeds to take the smallest sip of coffee ever to prove that she's still drinking it. I have two toddlers. I caught myself saying that phrase as a parent with a realization that it really was code for be quiet and leave me alone. I laughed. Over the course of college. I went from milk and sugar in my coffee to straight black with an espresso shot. I went from ketchup on a lot of things to simply salt and pepper. The sweet tooth turned into a salty savory tooth. This happened to me. I went from a sickeningly sweet and light coffee drinker to preferring just a splash of cream. And my mom would always say how she didn't like pop, soda, and actually preferred water and I always thought she was lying. Until I got to the age where I don't care for pop, unless I'm sick. Then it's Verna's all the way, and prefer water. Crazy. When me and my first girlfriend broke up. After telling myself I wasn't going to turn into my parents. We broke up because I did all the wrong things my parents do. I don't know if this will help but I've been told don't focus on what you don't want to be but focus on what you do. If you spend your time focusing on what you don't want to be you'll eventually become it. I had a not great dad and this helps me focus on who I want to be rather than staying in the negatives. This hit hard. Ate at an expensive restaurant and for a sec considered how much better and cheaper it would have been if I made the meal at home. Now I generally try to only order something that I can't make at home, so I can look it up later and find out how much work it would take to learn. My roommate and I have one splurge restaurant these days. Everything else we just make at home. But for sushi and hibachi we go out. It costs a ton but we love the place and always bring home leftovers for at least one more meal for each of us. Answering stupid questions with stupid answers. That is. Family member. What should I do with this dirty nappy you just changed? The nappy bin is next to her. Me. Put it in the fridge we will eat it later. Edit. A nappy is a diaper. I washed out the hummus container to save in case I needed it someday. In my family we call that Ukrainian Tupperware. My grandfather is from a massive Ukrainian Canadian family. Every one of us has a cupboard full of various plastics to be used as takeaway containers after a family dinner. Checking in. My grandma was the child of immigrants and did this as well. She was also a child of the Great Depression and couldn't stomach throwing anything away. The other day my husband picked up takeout and my first thought when he unpacked the surprisingly sturdy plastic containers was. These will be great for lunches. My 3 year old told me as I turned on the TV don't turn on the news dad. I 100% remember saying that to my parents. There's always a certain age where you go from hating the news to becoming deeply interested in it. Next level is talking back to the TV and really realizing you become the parts of your parents you hate strictly out of programming. I realized I talk exactly like my father. I use the same speech patterns and I don't get to the point which annoys me as well as anybody listening. Sometimes listening to myself talk is like hearing a sampling of my father's dadisms played back in my mother's voice. I'm basically just a walking character mashup. Mum and Dad Remix. The first time I told my kids to shut the door. We aren't heating the outside. I finally get why they said it too. It costs money to heat cool the house. My roommate's parents are living with us right now while they get back on their feet financially. We will get home and the heat will be cranked way up because his mom got cold. 
just leave the thermostat alone and get a blanket damn it. When money is involved I feel it's a situation worth discussing with your roommate or his parents. That would annoy me to no end. I wake up. No alarm. Every day at 4am to get ready for work. Just sit up like clockwork at 4. Never thought I would get to this point. Is it possible to learn this power? Hate your alarm clock enough to get up before it. It's very relaxing to ducking destroyed Ari Vader as I slap his alarm ass every day. I'm glad this shit got 7k. I say the names of things I see while in the car. Like. Oh. A Burger King and Hummer New Wawa. Interesting. My mom does this and it used to drive me nuts when I was younger. My husband actually types google.com into the search bar. Even though our default search engine is Google. It's a classic dad move. The moment I realized that I started to have a bag full of bags. When we're together. We answer people with the exact same answers. While driving in my car. I will put my arm out to protect the passenger if I suddenly stop, even though they are wearing a seat belt, just like my mom. As the passenger in the front seat. I will step on the brake. Even though there is no pedal. The old fake brake. Just like my mom does. You use the stop short. That's my move. I seriously have no idea how I am still here and breathing for as hard as my mom hit my chest with her arm. A few weeks ago she did the same thing to my father who is in his 70s. He actually told her just next time let him go through the windshield or trust the seat belt. But he couldn't breathe well for several minutes. Having children. The shit that I've said has totally been shit my mom used to say. As a middle aged male. I am turning into my mother and it terrifies me. Example I swear to god if I have to go in your room to clean it. It's all going into a garbage bag and being donated to kids that will appreciate it. I came to realization that I have my mother's laugh. As a 23 year old male this weirds me out a bit. I didn't notice until I went to her place during a holiday and my brother made both of us laugh. I sounded like her echo. I clear my throat just like my dad. He passed away last spring so it's a bit bittersweet every time I do it now. I found a picture of me as a kid with my dad. His Jimmy was in the background. I looked out to my driveway and saw my 99 Chevy Blazer and realized that I was driving pretty much the exact vehicle my dad drove when I was growing up. This wasn't a conscious choice. This is the second Blazer I have owned. I heard a loud noise and instantly got pissed off. Amen. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for 3 videos a day.